Hey y'all, hey, hold on. So just FYI, I'm gonna put this on this thing right here. We ran a salad back today. I need to get me a, a fork. I might eat it with a, um, a spoon. Okay. Oh, let me put that down because I got to take these braids out. Let me say my grace. Okay, so anywho, so we ran our little dollar twenty six salad bag, the one that we had the other day, and here are my uh, pentos. This is the leftover pentos that I had from my meatless tacos yesterday, and I cut up one of the red sweet peppers, and I have cheese on top, and that's all, no extra seasoning. I'm confused on why this cheese that says triple cheese melt is not melting. This is craft. Maybe the beans ain't that high. Let me taste them. Mm. Well, I need hot sauce. <laughs> okay. We got hot sauce. If y'all hear any little talking in the background, I got Sin City playing on my computer. I was listening to her. Mm. I should just put the rest of this hot sauce. Because this hot sauce box, you see the color of it? That means it's getting old. I've had it in here for a while. Is it all on now? Okay. I don't know why my cheese ain't cheesing. Like, okay, there was a little pool. I was like... The cheese ain't melting if we don't have no cheese before. <sighs> Try to hold it like this. Oh, that TP. So it's like a sweet and spicy because these peppers got a sweet taste to it. Should I have it? No, I'm going to eat my beans first, then I eat my salad. You see? Whew. That looks funny in the camera. Mm -hmm. I like hot sauce though. Spicy and hot sauce is two different things. I love my booty is not weird. Send my chill like that. <laughs> No, I just want to see a bag. Wait a minute. Let me just pull my chair up. Duh. Sometimes I be doing silly stuff. I know I do. Mmm. I be y'all one more bag. And that's these um, Southwest Pintos. Was it Bushes? So this is day two, no meat. I did have I had a banana and some kind of peanut butter protein bar that I probably ate like a little tinge of it because it was a lot. It was like a thick bar like that, probably about this long. Something that has to stay refrigerated. But I got pulled a piece off like I was eating food food. <laughs> I got pulled a piece off and then eat like a little bite of my um banana. Mm. <sighs> In TV news. <laughs> Don't y'all forget about the Luther Van Vandross documentary. Why it took so long for it to be a Luther Vandross documentary? 
I had brought this up one time before. We was in a live and I told y'all about it. I think it's going to be like on CNN, BET, OWN, or something like that. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Back in the day, though, I, I don't know, because I wasn't, like, living back in the day during those times, but, like, back, back in those days, so I read James, them, uh, James Brown, them, like, you know about people when they got in trouble with the law, like, to me, that's how it seemed. Now, during those times back in the day, I don't know, like, my daddy knew T about some of the, um, like, you know, the celebrities and stuff like that, but the singers and stuff like that. Because he grew up, not grew up, but, you know, he was around, like, in Jersey and New York when they performing. Before they got big, stuff like that. And he was, like, you know, living up there. And he was young, because... Just in case y'all didn't know, my dad is not from Georgia. But, you know. <clears throat> so, I'm kind of looking forward to it. As a little girl, I just remember people going crazy. My roof was coming on. Mm -hmm. um, I was, I liked some Luther, too. Be Luther and Lil Luther. <laughs> so. <sighs> Hopefully I take the time out to watch that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I didn't look at it. Boy, knows I hope um, Tyler Perry don't have his hands in it. Nothing against Tyler Perry, but. As I want to say, it said, um, and if it's going to be on one of Tyler Perry's little new channels or whatnot, just long as he not putting it together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what's one thing that you guarantee to see if it was a Tyler Perry production? Especially if it was something from a while ago. Yeah. A bad wig. <laughs> Baby, what was the name of that movie Tyler Perry had them put that wig on that man? He had, it was an older woman. She was with a younger man. I've been having to listen to this noise all day. Oh my gosh. I ain't finna hear no crunch now. Older woman was with a younger man. He was like taking her money and stuff. I think she worked him over with a bat. The lady. Excuse me. Oh yeah, Felicia Rashad was in it. But anywho, that. But hopefully. Either way. Come on, we can't mess up um, some Luther Vandross info. So don't y'all mess this up, okay, people? And speaking of, you know, Al, what's Pierre? Pierre, Pierre, Pierre on ABC. Pierre, what's his name? ABC, ABC News. What's Pierre? Let me see. What's Pierre's name? Dang, I can't see around that corner. It was on my thing. Pierre Thomas. He is visiting. The plantation where his um, base, like, you know, his family were enslaved. Do you know, I've never, I promise y'all, this is crazy, but I've never thought about that. Like, I'm over obsessed with, like, seeing, like, plantations and stuff. And, like, living down here in the South, you know, we see all kind of ish like that. You, you know, ride down the street sometimes around the corner and 
You're gonna see at least one of them, right? But anyway. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna get this salad one. It's that pizza salad. It's so good. But these the cabbage chopped up so small, sure. But anyway, I've never thought about that. So I think I'm gonna put that like on my bucket list in life. I would love to trace my family back that far. And I know for some people, like some people, for some people they don't wanna, mm -mm, you know, like they kinda sorta lived it. So they're like, uh-uh, I don't even want to go, I don't, mm -mm. But I would love to. I would love to dig into my roots like that. Mm-hmm. Like, the slave slave part, not the modern day slavery stuff. <laughs> but that part, like, I'm gonna go, that'd be cool. We talking about knowing our history and stuff. Mm. Mm. I definitely want to do something like that. I would definitely, I just wonder if I would be, would I feel something like, you know, if I go back and like if I'm actually on the land or the place that I'm at, you know, like am I that in tune with myself to where my ancestors would speak to me? So I keep getting up close to that camera. Let me hold it like that. Mm -hmm. It also has me thinking about how I know more about my dad's family historically than my mom's family. Y'all marinate on that why, but that's interesting, but y'all marinate on why that's interesting, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's some crap. That's full. Those are some wild times, so I'm you know, just thinking about. I'm so glad that today is better than those days. And for anybody that's like, no, you still don't claim that. <laughs> don't claim that you are going through what our ancestors are going through, okay? Don't do that. Mm -mm -mm. Don't take on anybody else's struggle. <laughs> mm -mm. No. <clears throat> so I'm definitely gonna put it on my bucket list. Oh, that means I need to get it done soon because my parents 
or not spring chickens. And so, I mean, I got to ask them a lot of questions. And their parents are gone. But I remember I met my great-great-grandmother. No, grandmother. No, great-grandmother. <clears throat> Wait. Was it a great, great, or a great? I gotta ask my um. I gotta ask my dad. Because I remember understanding some of the stuff is like we're like product of like on my dad's side the house the house ninjas yeah so yeah Maybe that's something I could put on my list for 2025. Something I need to do. <laughs> Matter of fact, what's today? August 7th? Here's my book that I keep on my desk. Great things never came from comfort zones. Wow. Great things never came from comfort zones. Make me think about anything worth having is worth working for. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Woo. I don't know if I'm full or am I tired of chewing. Either way, So, I'm trying to wait for a quiet moment from him. I was just banging and banging in here. I had food fall out my mouth. Mm -hmm. I thought I was done. I want to challenge you. Listen. I challenge you to try no meat, fruits and veggies only, no soda, no juice, water only, right? No soda, no juice, water only. I have to have my coffee, okay? Don't judge me. Um, but... I challenge you to try it for a week, okay? And see if you feel anything. I'm trying to see if I'm going to feel anything. It's August 7. What, 2 something? Probably like 2.40. So. 
I hope I stick to it tonight. I'm not even having alcohol, y'all. No tea, though. That's going to make me feel something different even in itself. Not drinking. I already know that. But... It's amazing the things we do to our body by just knowing. It ain't good for us, but I can go to the store and buy vegetables all day and then some gonna come up and be like, oh, they're bad for you. We recall them. Somebody spray something on them that you can't wash off. Mm. But I challenge you guys to do it, okay? Fruit and veggies only. Water only. If you drink coffee, you can keep your coffee. Water only. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Until next time, my good people. <laughs>